I was just in the market for an overhead projector and um, just browsing on airbrushforum.org, someone gave me the idea that instead of giving, getting an overhead projector, you can actually just get a full-on projector because they're now made in a mini form. So I thought, well, why not? I can kill two birds with one stone. I can get an overhead projector that's a whole freaking entertainment system. The advantage to using one of these over an overhead projector is that you can project directly from your computer or SD card without the need for transparencies. Its LED boasts 20,000 hours lamp life, 300 lumens of light, however compared to 2,700 from an overhead projector, it has a native resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels, 254 centimeter maximum diagonal image size, at 10,000 to one contrast ratio, so it has great color and sharp picture. So the box arrived just today. I'm really excited. Um, it's a decent weight to it, isn't it? Feels really good quality and makes you happy that you purchased it. Just very gently, of course. All right, let's open it up. Dun, dun, dun. Awesome. Little remote control, instruction manual. Looks like I've got the uh, sort of the software CDs and things like that. I'm not quite sure what they contain. User manual, 3D operation guide. Whatever, who uses them anyway? Let's get this little remote control out. Oh, that's a beauty. Take that out of the plastic. Look at that, oh yes. See, it? yeah, no, that must be for the battery. Yeah, I won't take that out just yet. Feels nice, I mean, it's what you'd expect from a tiny little remote control like that. So, and it's got a couple of options there. Freeze, hide, aspect ratios, you can, interact with the menu, media. Fantastic, what a great little remote control. All right, great. So what do we got here? Ah, uh, here we go. That must be the little unit there. So just, just how tightly that's packed. Thanks, Acer, I appreciate it. That feels great, feels really good. Ah, I got this nice quality little case as well. It's obviously where some of my money went. Some stitching. Ooh. Here it is. The piece de la resistance. Piece de resistance. Bit of French there for you. There we go. Oh, it's, a, it's a decent weight. I, ha I haven't actually checked the specs yet to see what weight it is, but I might not even tell you to be honest, but just a good looking little unit. The build quality feels fantastic. Like I'm holding this and I'm just happy. I feel good. Buttons, nice little click to them to reassure you that you've actually pressed the button properly. Yeah, that's something that's very important. <sighs> Got all the ports uh, in here in the back of the device. Um, I don't know if you can see that as well. So you've got the universal I.O. port. Now, to my knowledge, this is for sort of VGA adapters or even your audio out. That's what that port is used for. You've got a micro SD card. Now, as far as I know, you can just plug the card straight in and start interacting with the menu, whether it's looking at pictures or anything like that. You've got standard HDMI. Um, great, plug it straight into cable TV, which is what I'm gonna be using it for. USB port, not sure if that's USB 3 or not. I'd, I'm assuming it is, but you'd have to check the specs for that. Your AV in and your power DC in, so. It's all wrapped in plastic nicely and well protected. You definitely know that you're the first person to use your new little projector. So that's great. Just on the sides, you've got little ventilation ports, um, nice little lens on the front, an F2 lens for any photographers out there. More ventilation on the front. I can even see the little fan here. Uh, more ventilation ports on the back. And then finally the bottom. You've got a thread here to install it on a tripod. For tripod mounting, um, just makes it so much easier. If you want to use one of those tiny little tripods, you could desk mount it or proper photographer's tripod. And also just on the underside there is uh, a little stand. So you just unwind that. I'm not sure how far out that comes. If it, auto it does, it automatically stops. And you can just put that down on the desk. Nice little stand. That's fantastic. What else is in the box? Ah, we can go, we can go. Oh shit. Couple of cables, couple of cables. VGA cable, ah, that's the VGA and the audio in. So that's that universal, ad universal adapter, perfect. Didn't realize it came with that, that's great. 
There's my power supply, DC power supply, direct current. That's to plug it into the DC power supply, AC current. What, what do we call that? I'm not sure what we call that. Let me consult the user's manual. And the 3.5 millimeter AV jack. So that's what comes in the box. And that, that smells like genuine leather, that does. Ugh. They're the little things that make you happy about your purchase, aren't they? Good smelling case. So yeah, so that's, that's the unboxing. So it's 40.6 millimeters in height, 116.8 millimeters in width, and 139.7 millimeters in depth. You can see just the size of the unit there. It's very compact in my hand. Feels good too. And uh, just a few final things. It always comes down to cost, so let's have a quick chat about that. An overhead projector, a decent quality one, you're looking at about 150 euro, uh, brand new. I'm not quite sure what they are in US dollars, but for this little unit, as a home entertainment system, doubling as, as an overhead projector, um, this costs around 430 euros, I believe, posted. So, you know, it's a bit of a difference in cost, but it depends if you want to go home tonight, receive your little parcel, and be able to watch the 300 projected up onto the friggin' wall, which is what we'll be doing for Shiznit. All right, so thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. Just uh, stay tuned because I'm sure once I've given it a little spin that I'll be having a quick review and let you know just how suitable this little unit actually is to use for projecting.